So there was this old philosophy professor at this university. He himself had been a student of philosophy, religion, physics, and many other things for many, 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 many years. He was con he had contemplated Heidegger and Heisenberg and Bohr and Einstein, and Sartre, and Derrida. He contemplated the face of the world, the physical description of the world, the astrophysical description of the world. And he was mind ended up being kind of a clusterfuck. He was spinning and spinning and spinning in and out of time and space. He started getting this feeling that maybe he had to get back somewhere, back to where he used to be, back to where he was. He was lost in a dichotomy between the natural world and the artificial one that we create as human beings. So he decided one day that he was going to go on a quest and he was going to give his body and his life to the earth, give, give his spirit back to the planet, basically just kind of go off, off grid. So he decides the best place to do that is in the desert, just like the prophets of old. John Muhammad. So he takes the time to uh, find the right place, of course. He starts walking into the heart of the desert, finds a good spot, he sits down, he starts to contemplate. He looks over the horizon and he sees it. What he believes to be maybe a mirage or his mind playing tricks on him, he sees a young man on a camel coming forward. And as he gets closer, he realizes that he can hear a guitar. He doesn't pay much mind to it because he's there for a purpose, you see. But the young man is real. He comes up, steps off the camel, steps up to the man, and sings a song. He says, before you go over my head, just reiterate what you said. You never drive around a pickup truck. But you're full of your fucked up. You proved everyone that you're not nuts. You find a girl with her love. You never swim the sex with your own studs. Hey, you hide yourself if you must. Well, the old man, of course, being concentrated in his academic ways pay much attention to the young wanderer. But the young wanderer, being fairly steadfast and devoted in his mission, he looks into the old man's heart and into his soul and says, One more time before you go over my head, let me just reiterate what you said. Full of dreams and full of shit, don't have to accept every small thing again, don't have to care for the hell of it, what is some goddamn deal for that to miss? But he carefully care for this. Well, this kind of jostled the old man a little bit. He stops and he looks up and he says, Don't I know you? One, two. Oh, let me pull you over my head. Let me just be in way what you say. The old man recognizes that punk kid from his class back in college. And he says, what do you know about kid? What do you know about son? I've come out here because I need to be with the earth. I need to get my body and my spirit back to the planet. I can feel its vibes. I can feel it calling me. Well, the punk kid replied, I come out here, mister, to find just you. Cause there are some people back there that can use your help, see? Because you don't live in a world just with you or just with me. No, 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 he said, before you go over my head, yeah. Let me just reiterate what you said, man. You don't have to drive up, you go drive. 
Thank you very much.